All right, YouTube, welcome back to part four of the easy and free horror environment series. Um, in the last video in part three, I just made some minor adjustments to the skybox. We added a moon, a night sky, got rid of that not so great looking fog. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to add some much more realistic looking fog using another free asset, which is actually the standard asset pack that you can download from the Unity Asset Store. So go ahead, go to your asset store on Unity or just go online, search for the standard assets pack. Um, it comes with a whole bunch of stuff that you guys can feel free to use. But for this video, I'm just going to be focusing on the particles um, that come with the standard asset pack. So once you go ahead and download and import this standard asset pack into Unity, let's go ahead and click on that. Let's go to uh, particle systems, prefabs, and let's click on this first dust storm. Make sure you don't do this one. This one's for mobile. Um, do the first one here, and let's just click and drag this straight into our map here. Now, as you guys can see, we actually have what looks like dust, right? It doesn't really look like fog. It looks like kind of the dust storm. It's moving pretty fast. It's only covering a small portion of this map. So let's zoom back out here. You guys might have to play with this a little bit, but let's go to the scale. And for me, I found that a 10 by 10 works pretty well. It covers basically the entire map here. Um, but as you can see, our fog is like really spread out and it's, it's almost there, but it's not quite. Now, I'm just gonna go down the list here. Let's change this duration to 500. And that is basically how long each particle will last for. Um, so instead of five, we'll just put 500 there. Um, the start lifetime, I'm going to make that one. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to give the fog sort of a rolling in effect. So the fog is not going to start right away. It's going to kind of like roll into the map, um, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, the start size, uh, here it is. Um, I'm going to change this to about um, minimum value of 50 and <clears throat> excuse me uh, maximum value of 150 um, and uh, it's just going to give the fog kind of a more random uh, size variation there um, the simulation speed as you can see this is going really fast um, let's change that to 0.1 and as you can see that slowed our fog down quite a bit um, it's not going to make it look like you know a hurricane rolling through um, Let's go down to our max particles and let's just add another zero there. Um, under emission rate over time, let's change this from 100 to 10,000. As you can see, look at that guys. That looks like fog now, doesn't it? So much better. Um, it's covering our entire map. It's not going crazy, but uh, it actually looks like real fog there. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that for now. What else can we do? All right. Um, an important thing is our shader here. Um, if I can find it, there it is. Okay. We want it. We want to change it. So particle particles priority alpha blended is what it should be. Um, if yours says legacy, um, change that to to this right here. <clears throat> and uh, to do that, just you know, just type in particles, and it'll come up with priority alpha, alpha blended. And this just kind of gives our fog more of like a, a realistic touch. Like it, it, this shader just makes makes everything look more realistic. And yeah, as you guys can see, when I click play here, you can see the fog sort of rolling in slowly, and it really kind of just simulates real fog, which is awesome. All right, um, the next thing we can do is, because this might be a little thick, um, but let's actually, let's go ahead and maybe just play this and see, see how it looks here. Let's go check the water. Yeah, look at that. You can see our fog rolling in nicely populating the map um, It's actually not too thick. I kind of like this um, My unity ed editor will look different than um, what YouTube um, Especially when I export this video, it's gonna render it a little bit differently So what I'm seeing might not be exactly what you guys are seeing um, I actually think this looks really good. 
I don't think it's too thick. I think it it's just enough where we can see. Um, like I said, in my editor, it looks a little bit different. Um, it may look a little bit different than um, what's what the final product looks like when I export this video. Um, but if you guys are finding that your thought your fog is a little thick, um, don't don't change your rate over time. Keep that the same. Um, <clears throat> but under our shader here, we can we can add a tint color um, and we can adjust the alpha. So maybe give it like a look at that. That's that's pretty cool, huh? Um, I'm thinking like a cool red fog might look kind of eerie. You know, I like that. Um, let's just try it, right? This is just colors. We can always change it. Um, but we can we can take this alpha down a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna take it down to about nine, and that's gonna reduce our opacity of our fog by about half there. Let's let's check that out. Yeah, you can see it rolling in. Um, personally, for me. I'm going to put it back the way it was. I think that uh, just a standard white fog looks pretty good. Um, but you guys can play with it. You guys can do whatever you want. You know, it's your game. But there we go, guys. That's how we add fog to our scene here. Um, throw a comment down if you like this. If you guys have any... Uh, Anything else you would like to see me add, I can try to add that. Um, if this worked for you, let me know. Go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. That would really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.